Customer Relationship Network introduction uh, party. Now, before I uh, go to the presentation, I want to thank you, all of you, to come here today and and to understand um, the foundation of Fast and Share. I also introduce some of my friends uh, who have been with me as a Austin Fair team for the last uh, three, three years, four years. First of all, I want to introduce uh, uh, Fang Min. Hi. And uh, he, he is uh, uh, you know, the architect or engineer. Uh, my idea uh, that I have an Austin Share, and he has uh, put that into uh, into a engineering model. And then I have also Sheng Shui Gu, and he has been also working in Austin Share team for the last two years. And you know, he has got very different many roles. As you know, in a startup company, they have to do many things. But his primary function is to uh, coding and implementing and testing as well as working with the, our customers to make sure they can understand. And then I also have Jeff. Jeff has been great. <laughs> yes. Jeff, you want to say anything? Any you I, well, I know um, basically uh, Why it is disruptive? 
And then, I also wanted to share with you or let you know that it's a platform, like a many other platforms, but main purpose of this platform is to help the consumer, business, consumer service provider, such as O'Malley, right? O'Malley is a restaurant. There are several thousands of restaurants in Shanghai. There are some fair cost things than those any consumer. The platform was launched in August 2009 in Shanghai by Shanghai Ocean Business Consulting Company and both international investment firm from USA. In Oxfordshire, May, we see more than 1 million visitors from 194 countries in 2011. China is the number one country for Oxfordshire Net, and Shanghai is number one city for Oxfordshire Net with more than 20,000 visitors monthly. Now, I wanted to give you some data that has been tracked by a website. Uh, which is located in the U.S., and they are very reliable. An interesting thing is that even though right now Oxfam Share is a primarily a Chinese website, but we have received significant penetration, not only in, in China and in data channels, GCG, but also from India, Europe, and now also in North America. The top 10 countries from our data indicates that China is the uh, number one, which is almost to the 21% of the visitors, then followed by um, India, Japan, and uh, Philippines, and then Korea, Indonesia. And interestingly thing is that all these countries are actually from Asia. The top 10 countries are from Asia. If you would like to know that our penetration in the market, in the city-wise, then Shanghai has the, the largest uh, penetration uh, presence in Shanghai, which makes sense because we started our project in 2009 in Shanghai. Then we followed by Beijing, and then uh, there are several there are some cities in India and uh, mostly uh, in Asian countries, uh, Bangkok and India, Thailand, and so forth. I apologize that the, the screens are not very because of the screen capture. So, but if you are interested, in more details, then we can you know discuss this. Uh, one of the purpose of using website is that website provides live streaming traffic, and we have tried uh, Google tracking also, but we find out that website, even though it say it is a charger, some uh, free every month, but the data is very reliable because we validate this data with our internal. This particular tree, we are trying to show that each traffic, each person that comes in, that we can under, we, we know exactly where they're coming and also what they're doing. That way, if you are one of our customers, and if we set your, um, if, if we have a terminal, Afghan share terminal here, and the consumer when they come, we know, um, you know, that, that they are coming and what time they're coming, as well as what kind of information they're providing, and so forth. Right? Uh, in this chart, I wanted to describe the Afghan share business model. Now, we have two different groups of customers. On the left hand side, you will see that our consumers members, they are actually 
the free members in our network, they register and with their valid email ID. And also this, I wanted to point out that our registration, our membership is different than probably many other websites. We do allow, we do allow individuals to register from their home, from their office, wherever there is internet available. However, primary source our primary location that we think that our registration will take place for the new member will be actually our business member business member website or business member uh, location. Say for example, at the end of this show today, I would request you to take a, a brief survey here from our platform and that way you will know, we will know that this member is a valid member and he has a physical presence in Shanghai and he came or she came here on such and such date and became member. These, these particular uh, attributes of allowing or registering a free member makes our membership grow a little bit slower than probably other social networks. But it gives us a significant value because we know that all our members are real physical members. On the other side, on the right hand side, we have the business members. These business members are actually the consumer service providers. Say for example, a restaurant like O'Malley, right? It could be also a hotel, it could be a KTP, it could be any it could be any service provider who is providing any kind of service to uh, to the consumer. The benefit the consumer is basically a small discount. Again, this discount is not because we are asking them to come here, but this discount that we provide the coupon is primarily, mainly because after they consume the food in this restaurant, they will give us an honest opinion about the service. So because of that exchange of the feedback, the information, we reward them with the discount coupon. And this discount coupon will be valid when the next time they come. So this is quite different than the other daily deal coupon that you see in Groupon or any other business model. And again, we are going to compare our model in a subsequent uh, chart. Now the benefit to the businesses is basically they do get more customer. But I want to point out, they do get more customer not because these customers are hungry for discounts, but these customers really like their service. And we are going to find out how we find this in a customer. Also, they, they not only they get customers, but they also get the valued customers who are significantly uh, satisfied and who are willing to pay more for their services. Now, this is a slide. I really want to point out that this pay this is the, um, the key to our success as well as our, the challenge that we pose to the, our competitors, right? On the left hand side, you will see the, the Groupon model. And on the right hand side, you see our option share model. Now on the left hand side, you see that in the same, in a, the not, the, in a similar capacity of restaurant, we have got, say, total customers is eight. On the other hand, on the right hand side, the total customer at a particular day is four. So, you know, apparently you probably like to think that probably the, the left hand, the restaurant is probably more attractive from the profit point of view or from the business point of view. However, because the reason that they have more customer is because they are providing a very large discount, then the profit is significantly less for those customers. 
say for example that profit is only one dollar per customer, just for an example. But for, for that way, their total profit for that week and for that day will be probably not for this will be eight dollars. On the other hand, even though on the right hand side there are total customers is only four, but however these customers are valued customers, therefore the profit per customer is much higher. And if you add them total, then you come as a fourteen dollar, which is higher than the eight dollar. So, so the most important thing here is that in the in the daily deal model, there the objective here is to maximize the number of customers. Whereas our objective is to maximize profit per customer. So on the long run, the business market merchants who will provide or who will adopt ask and share model, we believe they will be much more successful. Now in this in this slide, we are trying to show you very high level, because we cannot go to the details, that how to maximize the profit per customer. Now, basically what we do is that we try to match, match each customer requirement or their preference with a the specific restaurant. For example, for example, each restaurant or they provide food. That's the basic, the basic value or the basic reason that a, a restaurant uh, is in business. Too. However, in addition to the providing basic food, there are many other parameters which are important, such as location, such as customer service, such as environment, social value. Okay, and we have determined based on our experiment in the past there are. We are, we are going to measure five parameters by which we are going to identify the matching between the customer and the, the consumer and the market. Right? So I'll just give you an example of or, you know, the why and how it works. Right? So for example, if, um, if you are a, I, I was a single uh, person in Shanghai for a long time, right? And when I'm uh, as a single man, you know, I used to date, you know, several women, but not at the same time, but at least, you know. Now, because I did not have any, I did not find a particular match, then if I buy any gift for, you know, um, the woman that I'm dating just for one week, I would probably buy a gift for, say, 300, 400 hours week. But when I found my, you know, my wife, then I'm willing to buy a gift much more. Why? Because she is really the person who can satisfy my overall need, right? So same way, when a consumer finds a restaurant which can provide not only the you know daily deal one, but they are willing to pay much more value, much more price, much more. Okay? This is the basic example that I was trying to draw. Uh, then the main advantage is uh, what are the benefits of ask and share marketing services? Now, any marketing service, of course, will try to will try to help the the customer, the client, to make profit, right? But the question is here: how they do it, for how long is it sustainable or not? For example. If you use a model like a daily deal Groupon, then probably for one week you can get a lot of customers coming to you and they will be coming, you know, like probably hundreds, right? However, you have a very limited capacity, so you can't really fulfill that request for a long time. And also the profit will go down for that, you know, because you're giving them significant discount. So it's not really sustainable, right? Our goal is to allow merchants to maximize profit per customer by matching customer to the merchant. It is almost like, you know, there are two types of dating sites. One type, one or two types. One, one type, one kind of sites, the dating sites will just 
where to allow the young people to date for a short term, just to you know chit chat, and then you know for for a week or for a month, right? And then there are websites there. At least I know one in USA where they really try to match, you know, a, a man and a woman for a long term term relationship, and they go very deep into the analysis of the personality of the both party and then the man. So we are like matching partner or matching website for the consumer and the consumer service provider. Then also we try to help understand the core value of marketing. Say for example, um, this restaurant, we, we have not done a study completely yet, but one of the things would be that today we are going to take the opportunity to complete the survey, even though the number of people will be not very large, but we'll find out that if this space is uh, the poor kind of, is it the location, if it's uh, pricing, or if it's the uh, social value, and so forth. So we, we can measure that. And understand the customer, that what the customer they want. I mean, that is the main thing also. It's not that everybody wants to have a drink, or everybody wants to have a food, which is also very important. But the most important thing is that the other the factors involved. And most importantly is that we try to find out the customers who are really matching, just like as I told you before, that once I find that the match, my, uh, you know, the lady who is going to be my wife, then I was really, um, I, I was happy to spend uh, thousands of RMB for PF or why? Because I'm investing that as a long-term relationship. So basically, consumers are also long-term relationship. Now, before I go, um, do you have any questions? Anybody from the um, from the audience? In in terms of how you match your customers with a particular merchant. Do you have like a profiling process where you understand what the person has that you've done a file and then you introduce those people to the particular merchant? And how, how, how do you go about it? Very good, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we do have um, profiling, but again, our profiling is very different than probably the profiling. The reason is that in a, in a, in a, in a consumer survey, if I ask people who are coming to restaurant that, uh, what is your income and all the details, right? It will be very difficult to find out the accurate answer and also, right? So what we are doing is that what we put where your approach is very different. We try to, and I'll give you an example, okay? I mean, that's a very good question that yes, we do have a profile. And basically, we don't call it profile. We call it like almost like a personality. The personality of the consumer, right? Whether this, per I mean, I'm, I don't want to say this, but I mean, it, it, some some consumer could be extremely cautious about their um, pricing. So they are in a price 